Alright guys, it's Ghost, and we're back with more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Light, traveling through the galaxy, fighting it looks like Metroid and uh, Star Fox themed enemies. Well, this one seems to be a F-Zero. Oh, White Cat, alright. Facing Zero Suit Samus and Falcon, alright. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so the the support spirits apparently do also buff the uh, the team power number. That's interesting. All right. Well, we're overcharged here, and we're not gonna get the super bonus stuff, but that's fine. All right. Let's get used to Falco some more. Increased move speed, reduced weight. They got reduced weight. Throw them some more. Shit, I didn't think this one would leave. Falco's gotten a major rework since I last played him. Holy crap. Victory! He is really good. Alright, some gravity change immunity. Decent number of skill spheres there. Galaxy Man. Alright, low gravity item black hole. Timed battle. Enemy starts the battle with a black hole. All right. Gravity change immunity. Perfect. All right. Just one rob. All right. That's fine. Ready? Go! Okay, the black hole is a useless item for me. Because to kill him quick, I need him not to be stuck in the same well. Energy shot resist. Reduce the damage taken from energy attacks, such as Fox's blaster. And probably... No, I don't know if Lucario's uh, stuff counts as an energy or a uh, aura attack. Okay, the Wolfen. Enemy's FP meter charges quickly. Enemy has increased attack power. Enemy has increased move speed. Alrighty then. So, enemy is just really, really good in general. Physical attack and fist attack up. Oh, that's really good on Falco. Alright, Falco versus Wolf. Ready? Your wings really were less cool designs than the Wolfen. I always like the Wolfen designs better. Oh yeah, I'm liking Falco. Yeah, Falco's just all-around solid. It's a very fast, in-your-face character. Increases damage health to enemy shields. Eh, might not be a super commonly used one, but it's a decent one. A shield prevents you from getting any closer. Oh, okay, well now we know how to get to, uh, Galeem. Okay, apparently there's a trainer way up here. Alright, Starman. 
Oh, actually, hold on. Skill tree time. Um, perfect shield recovery. I'm terrible at shielding. I almost never use it. Sprinting endurance. Is there anything else at 30? Nope, just perfect shield reflect. Uh, I'll save on the points. Oh, let's uh, see if those shopping things changed any since I last played. Also, I like how it tells you how many you've owned, so that saves you some trouble there. Can you go sideways from shop to shop, or do you have to actually... Yeah, you have to back out and go into each individual shop. Anyone on big sale? Primary spirit? Eh, not really anything worthwhile. Ten percent off, dude, and no. No one really cool in that set. So it looks like there are three more shops on the map that we have yet to find. All right, good to know. All right, recommend me. That'll work. Stamina battle, hostile assist trophies appear, enemy is metal. Oh boy. Man, I did not... The recommendations were terrible on that one. All I did was just keep reflecting their shots back at him until I did enough damage there. All right, Psy attack. Oh well, that's a good one for any time I play Ness or Lucas. It'd be a good place. Grab beach shield. Yeah. It doesn't really tell you the what it does. Advantage wise. All right. Luma, we're playing against a Kirby team. One that's slightly underpowered, but still pretty good. All right, you know what? We were put off right here. Oh, no, that's... Spirit type disadvantage. That's why we had the issue. Flygon will work fine. As long as I'm within, you know, one amount up and down, I think it's usually not too, too bad. Ready? Go! Damn it, I just fed that to the Kirby. Oh! I thought I was just gonna be bouncing slightly up in the air a, a few times and, uh, with that star thing, but no, it just launched me right off the stage. I thought that was just gonna be like a gentle little, like, boom, boom, like, keeping me up in the air away from the invincible Kirby. <sighs> Huh, I didn't know the Bowsers were fake except for World 8 Bowser. That was interesting. Not taking the star this time. Just gonna throw the star rod around a little bit. Super launch star equipped. Super launch star. Touch it and get launched. Okay. So it's a super launch star rather than a launch star. Maybe like there was a second ring or something. And it was like a differing power. That's interesting. That might actually be a really useful one to uh, enemies that can't jump very well or something. 
Maglor. Alright. Screen will suddenly flip. Enemies. Magic attacks have increased power. Green flip immunity. Boom. And we're still under their power, so we should get full rewards. Ah, fighting Robin. That would explain it. Ready? Go! Get over here. I just deflected his arc fire with a beam sword throw. Alright, see if mine's any different than Fox's. A little bit more excited. Victory! I like it. All right, that's a three-slot attack. It's not a bad one to get. All right, what else we got? Ooh, catch it! If you time it right and catch it on the way back, you get extra damage on the next throw. I bet he had stacks. That's probably really powerful. Hey, Master Peppy! Bunny King DDD defeat the main fighter. Reinforcements will appear during the battle. All right. Super air attack, huh? Uh, better foot attack. Killing it. I like that one. Are we fighting on the Great Fox? Bunny can be the... Oh, I hate this stage, though. Oh, wow, they did not take any time to appear. Okay, I did get one of them. One v one, I can handle you. Come on, I can hang over here as long as I damn well please. Get over here. Hidden on him. There we go. Oh, that was him hitting me. Damn it. Alright, alright. We can do this. We can do this. If I hadn't wasted one of my uh, two smashes, I'd have been able to do this a little bit easier. I didn't realize how fast they were going to come in as reinforcements, though. Nearly died there. Okay, his up attack is not as wide ranging as I thought it was. Ah, 
All right, focused on Peppy, so we should be okay. Like this should kill Peppy, and we don't even have to deal with Fox and Falco. Nice. Peppy Hair, Master Spirit. Probably shooting style or something. Probably up to range, down to uh, physical. Something like that. Air style. Makes sense. Alright, so what are your compliments? Air power and jump go up, ground power and move speed go down. Alright, alright. Oh, well, we have the dojo unlocked. Alright. Wait, this is a legendary. This is Geno. Okay, defeat the main fire to win. Time battle. I mean, meter charges quickly. That is a five man fight. But it is on a stage. No, oh, it's, it's not on a stage that's easily cheesy. Oh boy. If it suggests Franklin Badge Equipped, I'm gonna go with Franklin Badge Equipped. That is a lot of enemies. There goes my Franklin badge. Am I, did I get both of them? Nope, just Bowser. Wait, why is she here? Okay, this is going to be monstrously difficult. We'll come back to that one. That's a legend fight. I'm not going to get stuck on that like I was on previous legend fights, because that would take a while. So is that everything for the Star Fox area? Looks like it. Well, that was fun. I like that. All right. Now, let's look at the map. We had... We've cleared that one. Okay, so the star on the upper left is completely clear. Um, oh, we never went into the uh, dungeon inside the ruins. Also, we never got the character inside the city. Let's go get the character inside the city. So I know we can go get them. Tiny King K. Rule Team. All right. Done. And he starts with an ore club. Oh, this is gonna be uh, infuriating. I like how that's the tiny King K. Rule team. I want to reflect, but it keeps recover attacking me. All right, that got two of them. Ah, the more you get, you get different uh, sayings. That's great. Time for a little payback. Oh, I love that. The double smash combo is great. Oh, it's hot. It's hot, hot, hot. Who's hot? Falco. Battering item power up. Nice. All right.
I don't know if we need to go this way, but we apparently have never cleared this this path, so. Enemy favor is neutral special shy guy. I haven't done much in Alka. You know, I, I don't really do many jump attacks. I stay mostly on the ground. Oh, you want to get back on that edge? Good luck. <laughs> I'll just put that bumper right there. All right. Nice, quick, and easy little battle. Yeah, I'm liking Falco a lot. I just need to get better at not locking myself into smash attacks. Expresso! Falco versus Falco. Uh, what was this thing? Stage platforms are very slippery. Increase movement speed. Enemy falls slowly. Easy. Oh, that's funny. That is really funny. I just pushed him off the edge. There's treasure chest up here. Giant or Great Fairy. Giant Zelda. Special moves increase power, heals significantly when the enemies damage at high health. Alright, um. All right, Great Fairy. Let's see how this goes. Probably start with a fairy bottle, too, or something lame like that. I get it. It's the it's, it's the fountain from Kirby, but it's the fairy fountain. Or like, no, this is. I don't think that's a fairy fountain music. Maybe it is. I don't know. I think it was Kakariko Village. Critical health healing covers a great deal of health when a certain amount of damage is taken. I'm sorry. What? That seems like a really, really ridiculously good power. Like so ridiculously good. I'm going to go click on them and. Uh, Mark them as a favorite. Also, we should be able to get something in the skill tree. 50. Nice. Um, What's good for 50? Airborne endurance. Harder to be launched when in the air. That sounds good. Sprinting endurance. Harder to be launched while running. Fire explosion resist. I'm going to go running resistance because I dash a lot. I like dash attacks. And that's usually when I get hit by something when I'm dashing into somebody. Also, I can summon spirits? Have I done that before? What does that do? Summoning spirits. You can summon new spirits by offering up the cores of spirits you've dismissed. Oh. Don't, if you have the necessary cores, you can summon this spirit. I see. Oh, damn. You can summon him? Well, I could just earn him, so that's not a big deal. Okay, it looks like some of them you do actually earn just on the map, so I'll come back and uh, deal with that when I uh, really need to. That's a cool feature, though. You end up with too many duplicates or something. I almost forgot to grab the treasure chest. Hey, Yoshi's Woolly World main theme. Not really a great reward, but what are you going to do? Oh, get, get this way. Alright, Mario from Mario Tennis Aces. Hostile assist trophies will appear. Enemy favors smash attacks. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. 
You know what? This is actually a pretty good setup. Um, all right. Let's try someone besides Falco for a bit. Uh, I feel Mega Man. Mega Man feels like a good one to pick here. And then we'll go to our newest one and mark them as a favorite. Only two star? Damn. Ooh, Franklin Badge Equip sounds like an important one. Okay. All right, Franklin Badge and Killing Edge. So I guess we won't go with the Great Fairy healing this time. actually active there? I didn't even realize it. She dodged that one, like, flawlessly. Okay, I see what the Pong was doing. I just never got hit by it. Oh, damn it. I keep hitting myself with it. Why do I do that? Alright, this will finish Peach off. Mega Man Rainbow Blast. Not too shabby. Critical hit up. Grants 5% chance to let devastating critical hit. These are so good. Like, honestly, the healing plus the critical hit one, and I never need to ever adjust except for stage hazards. Hey, I get the chomp, chomp hat for the me. Alright. Oh, wow, we didn't even ever touch this city. What did we... Okay, that one I can't get to. That Okay, so we need to go through the spirit right to our right in order to get up there. Can we get around the... No, we can't get around the other side. Alright. Also, assist trophies will appear shooting types. Enemy shooting items have increased power. Reinforcements appear during battle. All right. So, obviously, Franklin Badge equipped is important. And rather than having Killing Edge, which only occasionally does critical hits, I'm just going to have always have critical hits on. Where's our... Uh, yeah, it's a one cost. Done. We only need, like, two different teams. Franklin Badge team and then the Great Fairy team. Oh, my God. It's all the inklings. Oh, boy. Ready? Go! Where am I? I'm blue, they're blue, I can't tell who's who. There we go. party. Now, do I have access to, on the fighter select screen, can I choose a different color so I'm not the same color as all of the Inklings? There we go. That'll make things a little bit easier, because I just couldn't tell who I was. Half the time when I'm inked anyway, you can't tell who you are, so. I didn't see which hostile assist trophies were appearing, though.
Oh, Jeff's rockets. Okay. Oh, and apparently I can't reflect cars. Okay, good to know. Get launched, Inklings! Cars actually don't do that much to you. And now they're both dead. I just had to not get knocked off the stage with a ridiculous amount of damage on me. That's all it took to survive that battle. Jam FS charge. Slows the rate of the opposition. Oh, okay. You can slow their super rate charge. That's never been a huge issue for me. Their super rate charge isn't that bad, and all you gotta do is just keep dodging once they get it up, or kill them before they get it off, so... But I'm sure there'll be a map where that'll be useful eventually. Alright, we're fighting the Psyduck. Alright, who's our lowest power multi-slot? Buzz Buzz. And then we'll get rid of Screen Flip. I know we have screen flip fixers. Here we are. Parasite Queen. And just occasionally we have critical hits. God, just always having a 5% critical hit chance is amazing. Like, they obviously did not think that one through. Juggly a little bit. Ow. Ow. Alright, um, I'm not a big fan of Mega Man. After playing Falco so much, I'm expecting my, like, over A's and stuff to actually be a hit. But with Mega Man, it's actually a, like, in the air, or like a shot attack. I haven't played Kid at all, I don't think, actually. Alright, let's see what we can do. That's only because I'm using such a low power spirit that this is even a challenge, otherwise I could just roll through this fight. Wait a second, is the Mario trade-off I start with 30% damage? For the critical hits? I mean, it's still probably a pretty good one, but... This is actually one of my favorite stages from the 64. But I was huge into Pokemon back then, so it's probably a lot of the reason why. There we go. <laughs> Look at the shock face on Squirtle there. Like, ah, I just got hit. Psy attack up. All right, useful for Ness. I'll have to see if I, I always start with that 30% damage, because that's a little rough. I mean, it's it would balance out Mario's attack quite a bit, but... Ooh, looks like there's a, another store here. All right. Increased fire and explosion attacks. Ooh, that's a 9,000 fight, so recommend me someone a little bit higher. Thank you. Assist killer. Oh, boy. Can we get somebody... Do I have a good... 
have any really good fire ones that are high enough level to be good, but not maxed. Alright, you know what? Let's level you up a bit. I want something coming in just shy of 9,000. Well, that's convenient. It's gonna end up being just shy of 9,000. Perfect. It's just where I wanted you to be. And you're two slot, which makes you infinitely more useful, because then we can pick the other ones. Grants 5% chance to say the love don't getting critical hit. Yeah, doesn't say that it, you know, gives you, you know, any issue. So apparently these guys actually have a power rating as well. Hmm, interesting. Damn, I'm trying to get my power just under theirs. Come on, give me something lipstick equipped. Jump and critical and health attack. Oh, I should I should have taken the Great Fairy. That would have been like a really smart one. All right, well, it's only one Bomberman Toon Link. I think I should be fine. Ready? Go! Oh, shit. Bomberman is an assist trophy. Okay, that's unfortunate. My god, the explosions. Bomberman's dead. Victory! That's all I gotta do. Point blank bomb to the face. Not too bad at all. That was a rough one, though. Like that, there was just bombs everywhere. It was hard to keep track of what was going on. Let's open up the shop. Dr. Lewis. So it's uh, probably a punching one. Attack power, defense, move speed up. Okay. Stamina battle. What did I just click? Oh, that level up. Critical health healing. That sounds like a fantastic one to have on this. I really want to see how it works and how effective it is. Pit's actually pretty good. Pit has some good moves and things. Still trying to figure out what his specials are. Alright, that's like a shield rush. Double reflect. Okay, I got a little bit of healing there. Oh, he dodged it. Didn't dodge it that time. Dodged it that time, too. Oh, 
shit. I don't want to be anywhere near that. And I was anywhere near that. Damn. Okay, Pit. Maybe not the best one to be taking on this fight. Still don't know what all of his abilities do anyway. Um, let's go Falco. It's a close range brawl. I can deal with this. And the critical health healing looked like it helped a little bit, but I don't know if it helps as much in a stamina uh, situation as just two stamina ups. Just having more base is better than having a recharge kind of a thing. Grabbed him there. There we go. Grab and throw off the side of the stage. You don't even have to play by the rules of the stamina fight if you kill him like that. Alright, what do we got? Probably another... This is probably punching style or something, Dojo. spirits in the gym to raise their levels. Oh, you can leave them in the gym to grow while you're adventuring. Oh, all right, that's actually really cool. All right, let's level up some uh, ones that we likely won't ever use, like electric weakness, no slots. Um, let's see, what other ones look really, really useless? Um, hmm. That one probably... And that's magic attack up. That's a one slaughter. Wow, they're already leveling up. Like, holy crap, they level up quick. All right. Works for me. As long as I don't have to pay for it. All right, let's go down. I think that's the easier way. To Suba or Ribe. All right, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Hashtag Fire Emblem. Or FE, I don't know. All right, hostile assist trophies will appear. All right, doesn't seem to be wanting me to have the Franklin badge, so apparently the assist trophies aren't gonna be that rough. School uniform inkling. That is insane how many they have costumes to fit every like random character they're looking at. Okay, the zoom in is a little annoying. That was an assist trophy. Huh. Victory! I didn't realize that was an assist trophy, pulling him in. Pulling the camera in. Ooh. <gasps> Enhanceable three-slot shield, finally. All right. So what is Subasa or Ribe turn into? Because we're going to actually max them out. Finally, we're going to have a blue one that actually can go all the way to uh, an evolved state. Alright. 41 levels. The power level is not exactly great, but maybe when they evolve, they get much more power level. It's gonna be expensive to level up, but it'll be worth it. Alright, enhance. 
Holy shit, she levels up quite a bit. Damn. Carnage form. Okay, then. Increase jump. All right, that's pretty good. All right, let's get you uh, fully leveled up then, shall we? Oh, yeah, look at that power level going up. We're actually in pretty good shape now. Boy, I would have underestimated random schoolgirl character, if, you know. That spear looks ridiculously painful. Is it, like, part bow, too? Or is that just, like, a string to hold on to? Like, put it on your back kind of a spear. Come on, how many snacks am I gonna have to give you? Oh, max level. All right, 8,800 power is perfect. That will allow me to uh, have some really useful uh, fights now against red types. Deep breathing. All right. We fit trainer team. Four of them at 9,000. Enemy has increased defense. Enemy heals over time. Timed battle. All right. So we're not going to want to go weak on this one. Yeah, I don't think the ore club is really worth three slots. The lipstick to counteract the heal over time. I guess that makes sense. Although I think it might actually be weaker than Fox's normal attacks. strategy on this map. Where's my low-speed super armor? Super armor. Then throw strength. Who is a thrower? I'm just going to throw him off the side. I think that'll actually be the faster way to do this. know who the throwers are because I never use them. Hmm. That'll work. But yeah, the super armor will help me actually deal with the horde because I don't have to worry about getting interrupted. Yep, that's one out. You just gotta force them all out of the edge. <laughs> down special. Ooh. Alright, I'll take a buff to down special moves. That's some of the more interesting ones for some characters. That's a nice one to buff. Like, being able to actually be like, I use this super ability, or this special ability a lot. Give me a ton of buffs for it. Oh. Something done? What's up with the gym? Are we already done leveling somebody to 99? Damn. Oh, wait, every time someone levels up, I think I'm going to get a notification now from the gym. I thought that... No, wait, the runes are done. No? 
Oh, expedition complete. All right, it's been two hours apparently. All right, they level up and they get some cash. All right. So what happens if I put some really high level ones that I don't use anymore? Um, maybe some high rank ones that I'm not going to be using. Metal killer I'm going to need. Get rid of assist killer because I don't like using that one too much. Put you on just because that way we have a little bit of mix on the team. Actually, were you down? No, none of these guys. Oh, wait. The cis killer was a negative. Put the Metal Gear Rex on and. Sigma. Sure. Alright. Let's see if that gives me any more interesting results for uh, effects. I was not expecting them to finish so quickly. Alright, skill tree. Now there is a ability down here that gives me more... Increases gym and dojo efficiency, increases loot in explore. But I'd have to really work towards it. Although increasing the power of battering items isn't a bad way to do it. And now we have a lot of the explore things and dojo and training stuff. Might not be a bad idea to do that. All right, let's go for this character, Captain from Wild World. Um, we got a Luigi stamina battle with hostile assist trophies. Sure, why not? My down special is my reflect shield, so sure, why not? Hey, there's the bus driver from Wild World. That's what we needed. We need the bus driver. Oh my god. Stop running me over. Oh my god, I died. Alright, yeah, that's fine. I can I can kill this. I died just because of that. That bus driver is mean, Captain. Ready? Go! No, I don't want to be in the bus! It can turn around if it missed picking you up. Oh, get me out of the bus! Damn it, Luigi! I don't want to go to school today. I'll just stay home and bake cookies with you! Ow. Okay, new plan. We're completely changing up our party set. It's all the ones that are good at struggling out of things. Um, sort by skill. There's ones that make it easier to break out of stuff. Weapon resist. That's dodging. You know what? Let's go super armor. Oh no, the super armor would be bad because I have a lot of recovery to do. Alright, let's go assist killer. So I gotta get rid of Captain to do this. That's the only way this is going to work. Ready? Go! Damn it, Captain!
No, let me out! Kill Luigi in between bus trips. Okay, he actually helped me there. A little bit. I guess it's this trophy to space! Or just Luigi. That'll work. Time for a little payback. No, let me out! It, the harder it is to get out of that. Oh my god, I almost did it that time. That bus is the most annoying assist trophy. Holy crap. It is just unbelievably annoying. I managed to dodge the bus more that last that time. That was just brutal. Dash attack. Increased tackle and dash attack power. Slightly increases move speed. That's a really good one. I use a lot of dashes, so... Holy crap, that was a hard fight. Is that for a chest, or no? Yeah, that unlocks the ability to go into the bus. Thank you for letting me know. You can unlock the Inkling! Alright, let's unlock Inkling then. Alright. Shouldn't be too bad of a battle, but I haven't had much chance to play Inkling, but I think they're actually gonna be... Like, everyone says, oh, they're one of the best characters, just because if you ink up the enemy, you get a huge damage buff against them. But I think they're just kind of fun because they have a different mechanic than normal. Okay, you can't shake the ink loose. I guess it just goes away over time. There we go. I like how they changed Falco up. I do definitely like Falco being a little bit different like that. All right. I think we'll play Inkling for a little bit. Get used to them. Ike Eruption Neutra Neutral Special. So I think that gives us every one of the spirits except for that one on the right, which I think the tunnel comes out of from the bus driver. So we might actually be able to unlock another character this episode. So let's go... I think this one takes me to the other side of the forest. No, that is not the right warp pipe. We also still have some treasure and stuff in the forest. Huh. Uh, there we go. All right, Captain, take us away. That explains why I couldn't figure out how to get out of that tunnel last time. Yep, it's a bus stop.
Hey, Isabel! Sweet. I was thinking Isabel was going to be a very annoying fighter to play with, and one that I kind of want to get good at as well. Let's try Inkling for a bit. Now, I actually have unlocked Isabel in the overworld, so... That is a good thing. Move speed and neutral special up. Sure, why not? We'll take the recommended here. Alright, win the battle to awaken the fighter. Ready? Go! Ink back up. Yeah, Inkling's got a good set of moves. Ooh, what's my super? Oh. Yeah, that's a good super. That is a damn solid super. And we picked up Isabel. Nice. All right. Well, I think that's good for the world of light for right now. We'll head over, I think, over to the east side now, because that's the... Uh... Oh, thank you for so much for letting me have an out path where I didn't have to go all the way back. Oh. I can't go through that gate that way. All right, well, anyway, we'll figure out a way to get that way. Um, ooh, we can do something on the skill tree. Uh, we got 35, so that gives us the perfect shield recovery, or... Yeah, straight up immunity to strong wind, so now we don't have to waste uh, slots on our character anymore for that. Critical health, defense up. That's probably pretty good. Heal, wait. What's health when you're hit with a smash attack? When they're hit with a smash attack. I can steal with my Smash Dacks. I've been using Smash Dacks all game. I didn't even notice that one down there on the bottom. All right, let's take the Inkling out to the main menu to take our uh, new challenger on. <gasps> Pokemon Trainer, yes. Okay, I gotta work hard to kill this. Because I have been wanting to play Pokemon Trainer. Okay, Squirtle is a man. Just an absolute monster. Get my ink back. So apparently you can't get your ink back until the end there. Okay, Ivysaur. Okay, Charizard, that was... The, the, the speed of Pokemon switching with the trainer is actually really impressive. Oh, damn it, I lost. Okay, I wasn't very good with Inkling. I ran out of ink there and kept missing. So that's the issue. The Inkling revolves around their ink uh, container. So, damn. Actually got stuff for a losing. Huh. All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe if you did. And we will be back next time with more World of Light. Goodbye.